Hey, today on a midweek review, we're going to be taking a look at a stationary bike. This one is from Yasol, so let's get right into it. So one of the reasons I looked into getting a uh, stationary bike is because I've traveled all over and I've seen that everybody has some form of fitness room in their firehouse. And I want to make sure that you guys are getting the best equipment possible to keep up with your fitness goals. So as I'm taking this thing apart, I notice and there's a, a ton of different little parts that they've uh, packed into this box. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool that they give you the tools. Uh, it looks like they got some wrenches, some Allen keys uh, in order to put it together. There's your pedals. Let's get this thing revealed here. There's the main body of the bike. Couple of zip ties. All right, I think we're just about there. So with the power of movie magic, I'm gonna unpack the rest of this and put this together. It looks like there's a lot of parts, but it looks pretty simple to put together. So let's do that. So that's the big box. We got one more little box. Let's open that. This one actually feels like a television that I just got for my kid when she got married. <laughs> and sure enough, this is a nice, large, <laughs> flat screen monitor system to help you uh, do classes, I guess. Just like the uh, Pelotons that are out there. But man, look at the size of this screen. That's cool. I'm excited to put this thing together, so let's start doing that. So looking over all the parts, it seems pretty basic, mainly like our uh, other bikes that we put together, but I want to look at the instructions and see exactly how this thing goes together. They provide it in the little bag here. Um, they have all the instructions, step one all the way through. So it is uh, in a couple different languages. Uh, so I'll take a look at the pictures, read the English version of it, and uh, let's get this thing together. So as I start to put this together, I want to move this TV into a safer place. I'll probably put it up away so I don't accidentally run into it. <sighs> All right, I got everything laid out. I took a look at the instructions. I got a pretty good idea of how this goes together. First I wanna do is put the feet on to stabilize the bike as I put the rest of the stuff up top. Uh, the wheels actually go up front. Uh, the cool thing about when they put this together and, and shipped it for us is they put all the bolts in the spots that require them to go. So you don't have a separate package with all the nuts and bolts uh, they're all exactly where they need to go. All you got to do is find out which Allen key fits it the best uh, to go to that specific one. So these are nice and easily undone. So this is the front one. Um, the fact that it's got wheels up front is actually pretty cool too because, you know, I have it in my living room or I'll have it in my bedroom and I can move it around and keep it out of the way when we're not using it. If you're putting it in your weight room, you may want to redesign your weight room and um, put it to different places. And with wheels, it makes it easy to do that. All right. All you gotta do is line it up and put them back in. I have a ton of Allen keys that I use for different projects, but this one is pretty cool. It has a uh, Phillips head screwdriver already attached to the uh, hex head. So I've never had that before. So I got a new tool. One other feature I noticed when I was actually putting these uh, things on is the feet are adjustable. So if you're, um, at a place where it's a little unlevel, maybe you're on a concrete floor in your uh, weight room and it's a little unlevel, you can actually adjust the feet too to make this thing very, very sturdy. I'm gonna do the left pedal. I like that it comes with toe clips already attached. Uh, I use toe clips quite a bit for um, my regular bike. 
The one thing to note with the foot pegs is this is a left-handed threaded. Um, so left side, so it's not a righty tidy, it's a lefty tidy, which is a little unusual, but that's with any bike that you put together. Like I said, I'm not gonna tighten these up yet. Now the right side is gonna be a right-sided tight, but the left is a left-sided tight. All right, moving forward, let's put the neck in. Um, this has power running up to it. The cables are pre-rung. All you gotta do is connect each of the connectors here. Snap and play, slides in. So one of the things I noticed when I was putting this together is it has adjustments for your handlebars too. Not all bikes have that ability to do that. So you pull your handle and you can adjust your handlebars for different heights. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I like that. The fact that I don't have to search for bolts is uh, a unique way to do this. You know, I'm used to the Ikea kind of furniture where they give you a bag full of bolts and you just kind of have to look through it. Um, these are all pre-located uh, for you. And uh, the nice powder coat that's on this, it's a real nice finish uh, on the bike. It seems very, very high quality, uh, which I was uh, hoping it was gonna happen. And uh, with them putting the bolts in it like that, uh, you don't have to worry about the, the holes. You don't have to worry about it getting full of uh, powder coat and trying to re-drill it or tap it, which can happen when you powder coat things. So I'm doing this all by myself, but obviously you can see, you know, a second pair of hands would be helpful to put this all together. Um, but you can do it yourself. You know, it just takes a little bit of time, a little bit of ingenuity. This is where you're gonna carry your extra weights uh, to do your workout. So it's not only giving you a lower body workout and a cardiovascular workout, and it can be giving you an upper body workout too. So it's actually gonna give you a little bit of a hit workout so it's putting some weights here on the back. Uh, so if you go, you've been doing any kind of spin workouts or anything like that, the weights are there and very easy, convenient place for you. So now that I got the whole bike together, other than the monitor, I wanna bring it inside, put the monitor on inside, and let's take it for a ride. So the last thing I wanna do now that I got it upstairs in the room that I'm gonna do my workouts, is I need to put the monitor on. It comes with all four bolts, uh, so the holes are very easily lined up here and you just screw them in and then you, as you can see as i'm putting this on you can adjust this to where you need it i'll tighten that down a little bit but if you look at the cords here it's very simple okay once we have the bike upstairs we got the tv on what you're going to want to do is plug it in as soon as it comes up it's going to come up with a qr code you're going to take your phone take a picture of that and set up an app you can sign in for a subscription of a weekly subscription or a yearly subscription very cool to have but once that's done, we're gonna be set up to do a uh, workout here. You need to adjust your bike. The bike has to be set up just right to make it comfortable. Uh, when we go to set up a bike, you wanna make sure that the ride height is set appropriately. For this bike, you're just gonna unloosen it just a little bit, pull the lever, and set it up to your height. So this is about where my hip, I'm gonna go one more here, and then tighten that back down. Uh, and then we're gonna get on it and test to see, make sure our legs are in the right position. So that's pretty good. You want just a small bend in your knee at the farthest position. So I got just a little bit of a bend right there. And then the toe clips, you can reach down, tighten these up. Now my toe clips are in and I can just start riding. The adjustability for the tension is right here. Very easy to get to. Handlebars are nice and comfortable. The seat's actually really comfortable too. So let's try a workout. nice features about this bike that you can use your phone and cast right from YouTube to the monitor. That way you can watch your favorite show while you're doing a workout. Also, you can keep track while you're watching your show of all your progress.